I'm in a bad mood. I'm waiting for my Zoloft to kick in. I'm either going to laugh or I'm going to cry and burn this house down and everything that just... So I'm, I'm just trying to stay calm because I think I'm more angry because my husband's angry. That Therefore, it, it flows over onto me. I, um, I tell you, and I got to switch shoulders because this morning, I, I did not sleep well last night. I did not. And, um, I went to bed, you know, around 10. And left, um, I fell asleep on my right side, hoping it would help with some of the, well, my left side was hurting. I laid on my right side. And I woke up, my, my right arm and my neck is so stiff and in, in pains where even my muscle relaxer or pain pill is not working. And, um, I don't know. I know we've got the cold coming in tonight and the rain coming in. They said a chance of it might come in this afternoon and I'm hoping it don't, but my luck it will. And I'm feeling the storm coming in and it's right here in my rotary cuff, which I do have rotary cuff issues. Um, they have gotten a lot closer. I'm trying to put my arm where it stops because it's, it's like a, 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 oh, hold on. It is like a screwdriver being drived in right here, literally just right there. And I'm trying to put my arm in a proper way where it don't hurt or it's my neck doing it, one or the other. Overlook my hair, people. And like I said, I lost my brush somewhere in the move over there and I can't find it. And it's just staying in a bun braided or <laughs> rat nest. But um, would you leave that alone? My pit. That is a tarp right there. And he, can you see that? Hang on. Yeah, he's looking at me. Go ahead. He is attack. there he goes. He is attacking the tarp over here. Or was, I should say. There, see? See, it's even in his mouth. What are you doing, honey? What are you doing, Hades? While I'm over here, I'll show you guys something. My, um, what's it called? Hang on, my mind is gone. I'm hurting today. I got so much to do. Look at that. <laughs> He's a nut today. Um, uh, my milk thistle. Since I've not found any over at that house over there, Here's my dried milk thistle. Look at that. What are you doing? What are you doing, sonny boy? <laughs> oh my, he's a nut. And then here's my um, um, sag, staghorn. Look at this. I think this video is going to be about crazy dog. What are you doing? So what I'm going to do, I guess I'll just film right here. Since I got a lunatic for a dog this morning, you can see all my plants are laid out here. So I'm going to record while I really don't know what he's doing, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, but is he pulling you in too, Bandy? He's my, my poor Pandora. Hold on, guys. Oh, come here, lady. Let me in. There you go. Bandit. Sorry. He had wrapped his runner, hit his line around hers, and she was being drug in. But, um. I don't know what he's doing. But, um. I gotta. These are something else I gotta take with me. But, um. He's not in a good mood. I'm not in a good mood. Today I'm going to take what little things that is laying around the house and I'm going to box them up. I'm sorry, I'm watching him through the video camera. Box it up so it can be transported out of here. But, um, and then, um, 
And since my heater's at a cold heat, and I only grabbed enough, you know, kindling yesterday just to get it started, because it got 90 degrees, 90, I think it was 94 in this house last night. I hope you guys are enjoying him because this is an I've never I've never seen him do this. So this is new to me. I gotta get this chair. Here we go. So um what was I saying? So I'm gonna pack what little things we have in boxes to be moved tomorrow. <laughs> Hold on guys, I gotta unwrap him. Hold on. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with him. And, um, pack what little stuff is in the house and get it boxed up. It, it's just, it's like if it's not one thing, it's another. You know, I had a funny feeling. Are you kidding? I'm sorry, I'm looking. My mind is everywhere. And, like, right here, this plant is my hydrangea. And then I got a small one over here, off in the corner, and I've had her for over three years, and she's never got it above two, two, three feet tall. And I'm just now looking at her, and it's winter time, fall, and she's got her first bud on her. Dude, no, 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 no. That'll hurt you. She's got her first bud on her after having her almost four years and I just that's sorry guys I'm, I'm I'm everywhere today and good morning everybody it's Friday our high is supposed to be 65 here winds around 15 to 20 The rain that was supposed to come in tomorrow afternoon is coming in late this afternoon and into tonight, all the way till 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So that nicks my car from being towed, like I said it would. So we're, we're having a friend come over and loading my four-wheeler, my washer, and my bed on his trailer that's big enough that holds those 360 mowers. It can hold two of them. So he's coming to load that stuff up for us tomorrow. And then he's going to come back. We're going to hook a chain to my car, put the baby in neutral since she's a stick shift, and just tow her over there since we knew there was going to be some reason why <laughs> the other person wouldn't deal with the rain. So we got that covered. Um, when the rain hits this morning, um, tonight, it is supposed to immediately plummet and get horribly cold. It'll be four, it's supposed to be 48 for our high and dropping. And the way they showed the temperatures from 48 to 32 and balance all day tomorrow with up to 30 mile an hour winds. And then we have a chance of snow Saturday night into Sunday. Just a light dusting up here on the mountains. So it's going to be a very cold weekend. Um... My husband found out before I told him about the water, and he had also found out that even if he would pay to get them to come back out on their stupidity and turn it back on, they wouldn't have come out till Monday, the same day it's being transferred over there. So we just decided, he decided actually, to just say no. So also with no water and no electric over there until Monday and Tuesday, 
Um, we're going to just go ahead and stay here this weekend since we have our power here and we have a wood stove heater for heat. Um, he is not in a good mood this morning I, and it, it, it flows on to me where it makes me not in a good mood because we know we've got to be out of this house and in our own home by Monday, that that's the deadline. They will be here. The new owners of the property will be here Monday. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to take him to work Monday morning, drop him off, come back here. And the only thing that will be left here will be what little stuff I left in the kitchen and my two dogs. That's it. And then I'm over at my new house Monday morning. So, um... We're just a little angry. We got a hold of our sister-in-law and let her know she needed to call the electric company to tell them since they took our money, it's okay to turn the power on. So she's supposed to do it today. <laughs> supposed to. Now, if she don't do it today or she waits till after 4 o'clock, she'll have to call Monday. And Monday will cause the power not to come on till Tuesday. So that's why I said Monday and Tuesday. So, we're a little upset. I mean, in between the electric company, the water company, the only thing that got right was the, um, the internet and cable. We can't even stand this cable company, but they're the only ones that are on the ball and have already wanted to know if we could have it turned on yesterday and, or today. So, we made sure, no, you need to be there Monday. So, at 845 Monday morning, they'll be there. So I've got to rush m Monday morning between dropping him off, which he'll get picked up at 7.30 down there where I drop him off, and then rush here, grab my two dogs, what's left in the kitchen, unless I load the kitchen up before I take my husband to work. But I'll still have to rush back here and load these two up, and then haul butt over there to be there at 8.45 for them to hook the internet up. But if the electric is not on Monday morning they'll have to come back out again or they said I could call and have them um, turn it on or send the surge our, our, our account through the new address so and last night I went to tr let my dogs to walk out right here back literally right there and walked out sign and couldn't see nothing out here, but I have a big old light out here that lights up the back porch. As I opened the back porch and it made a creaking noise, the next thing we heard was tons of animals running back down into the woods. And I just backed back up in the house and said, nope. So, excuse me, I put my dog, my, this brat, on his leash and walked him up front so he wouldn't go galloping after him because he knows they've been around. He's, so... I, they're getting closer and closer and then last night I opened the sliding door sliding window I mean by the heater and they were just all pretty as you please out here in the side yard so <laughs> but me today I've got to get I didn't get a lot of candle in the last yesterday to start the fire but I got it started finally and it got up to 94 degrees in this house and we dude no we had to open two, both the doors and a window to get some of the heat out. It was so hot. And now it's dead and cold again. And I've got to get it started on a low today. And then keep it going for the weekend. Since we've got rain coming in tonight. Make sure we're ready for it. Because <laughs> I tell you, it's just, it's just been, it's been bad all the way around. And I'm not too pleased. And then I got the neighbor who is right down in the woods here, who just shot right before I started the video, who has obviously killed a deer out in the woods. And he just comes on the property now as if we don't exist. I mean, literally just right here on the property, goes to the pond now with his grandson. He was two days ago, just on the property. So, I mean, i got to get the rest of what little stuff i got. i got to get it packed and ready for tomorrow's haul. And then the whole rush of Monday and being over there at that house at 845 and get the dogs over there. And it's stressful. We're angry. We're mad. 
because you know when you get promised something i mean we lived we lived down in the valley and we moved up here on promises of somebody i'm not going to name who and then we didn't get in the house we were supposed to get in when we moved here and we got stuck here then we were supposed to buy this place and then found out it got sold from underneath the buyer by his mom. <laughs> and then between the, and now we're finally getting into the house we were supposed to move into. But now we had to completely gut the house, redo this house, which don't even belong to us, which will never belong to us. And we were given empty promises of this will be done, this will be done. And none of it has been kept. None of the promises have been kept. So I'm just, my husband and I are at the, we will never trust family when they say they'll promise something or do something because they will not do it. So that upsets us. And I mean, literally, there has been no help of getting that house ready for us to move into. And we have had to put our own money into a, this house that a previous tenant, they allowed to destroy it. But yet we got stuck having to fix it. With no money back to us, and all the promises of they'll do this, this, and this, they never did. So that really upsets it, so especially when it's, it's family that did it. So, I mean, that's where my husband's upset. And, I mean, I, I'll stand by him on that. So it's going to be a cold, rough weekend. He is in a snappy mood, and I mean a horribly snappy mood. So, and which makes me not in a good mood. And my right shoulder, my rotary cuff, because I have issues with it, is in horrible pain today. My neck is painful when I turn it. And I've got so much to do, knowing it's all going to be moved tomorrow. And then we still got to stay here until <laughs> this weekend so we can have a source of power and heat. And then Monday's even worse with that rush, so um, I don't know. But this is the first part of my video for Friday. So hopefully you guys have a better Friday, and hopefully mine will get better as the day goes through. I'm going to try and enjoy some of this beautiful warm day before it goes <laughs> down the hill. But I'll catch up with you guys later in the afternoon. God bless, guys.